Now, with voters going to the polls in exactly seven weeks from tonight, we're digging into a slew of state propositions on the ballot. There's a bunch of them. Let's begin with a look at Proposition 51, the school bonds initiative. The backers of Proposition 51, a measure that would approve a $9 billion school construction bond for California, believe they have momentum on their side leading into November. A recent Public Policy Institute study found six out of ten voters say they'd support the proposition. It would be the first statewide school bond passed in the last decade. The proposed $9 billion raised through the sale of bonds and state matching funds would go towards building new schools, upgrading old ones, and improving internet access in the classroom. Sounds like a no-brainer, right? Well, the governor's office says not so fast. Jerry Brown has been critical of Prop 51, calling it the handiwork of home developers looking to preserve a flawed school construction program. We wanted to know what would Prop 51 mean for the average voter when it comes to taxes. We asked the experts at the Legislative Analyst's Office in Sacramento for a bipartisan breakdown. The average voter wouldn't see an increase in their taxes, but the state costs would increase by $500 million per year um, for over the period of the next 35 years, with the total cost of the bond being about $17.5 billion. How exactly will the money be spent? The funding would go strictly towards facility projects. So these aren't for instructional purposes. It would go towards the purchase of land, the design of buildings, the construction of new buildings, and the modernization of existing buildings. Now here's something we're going to be asking with every proposition we take a look at. Who's pushing this prop? Where's the money coming from? With this case, Prop 51, a couple of big name home builders, K Hope Nanny and Company, along with DR Horton and the California Building Industry, it has given more than 1.5 million dollars. We'll take another look at another proposition on Thursday because check this out. This is the voter information guide this year. 222 pages, so pretty thick. No worries. We'll break it down for you before you head to the polls. And a reminder, for a breakdown of all the issues, you can go to our website, cbs13.com. We'll have you covered from now until Election Day and beyond that, too. Christina, back over to you. All right, Tony. Thanks. Still ahead.